Welcome. Today, we will be going through question two of the USAMA 2012. A circle is divided into 432 congruent arcs by 432 points. The points are coloured in four colours such that 108 points are coloured red, 108 points are coloured green, 108 points are coloured blue, and the remaining 108 points are coloured yellow. Prove that one can choose three points of each colour in such a way that the four triangles formed by the chosen points of the same colour are congruent. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. The problem does not involve anything complicated. Focus on the symmetry of the problem instead. Hint number two. Imagine two such circles, one on top of the other. Now rotate one of the circles. What can you calculate? Hint number three. Calculate the number of times the points of one color overlap with points of another colour, say red and blue, and then you can repeat with other colours. Hint number four. After a full rotation, 431 mini rotations would have occurred. On average, how many red points would have overlapped with blue points? What will this tell you about the largest number of overlapping red and blue points that can be guaranteed. Solution. Imagine two copies of the same circle. We will keep one stationary and move the other, such that every move is one 430 month of a full rotation. We will first focus on how the number of times a red point ends up on top of a green point. After 431 moves, we will get a full rotation. And so each red point will overlap with each other green point, which is 108 squared overlaps in total. Then on average, on each move, 108 squared divided by 431 red points overlap a green point, which is just over 27. Hence, after some time, at least 28 red points will overlap a green point. We can choose any three of these 28 pairs of points to create two congruent triangles. The fact we have rotated the triangle doesn't matter as it doesn't affect the shape of the triangle. So now we will repeat the process with the blue points and these 28 red points. After a full rotation, each red point will overlap each blue point. So 28 multiplied by 108 overlaps in total. This gives an average of 108 multiplied by 28 divided by 431 overlaps per move, which is just over seven overlaps per move. So at at least one point, eight red points will overlap with blue points. So now we can choose any three of these eight points to guarantee three congruent red, green, and blue triangles. We will now repeat with the last color. After a full rotation, we will get 8 multiplied by 108 yellow to red overlaps with an average of 108 multiplied by 8 divided by 431 overlaps per move, which is just over 2 overlaps per move. So at at least one point, three red points will overlap with yellow points.
So now we have three red points, which after some rotation will overlap with green, blue and yellow points. So we can use these three points as proof that we can choose three points of each colour in such a way that they form three congruent triangles. Notice that all the maths in this problem was very simple. We used rotation or symmetry and the pigeonhole principle with the averages. Nothing that mind boggling, which is why I like this problem so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and please like and subscribe if you did. Goodbye.